you have a kind of a maxim, for lack of a better word, about how you make your make your plays, how you start? I mean, can you can you talk about that a little bit? Can you tell us what that is? The maxim is basically like I I, I try to think of like the worst idea for a show I could possibly think of, like the last show in the world I would ever want to make, and then I force myself to make it. And the way that that started was, you know, when I first you know, my first year in New York, when I was trying to like write my first show, I was surrounded by all of these like downtown artists who I was so in awe of. And all I wanted to do was like imitate you. Like I had, somehow I had like a few scripts of yours and that I would like pour over, I would pour over like Foreman scripts, published scripts. I would like pour over Radio Hole scripts. And I was just like, I wanted to do something that was like, that I thought was cool so badly. That was like my definition of cool. It's weird because all these companies are doing such different work. So I was trying to steal from everybody and like create this, and it was horrible. Like there, it was just, it was just a terrible way to, you know, create work. You know, it was almost like I was trying to write something that would fit my idea of like what a really cool downtown theater artist would make, you know, as opposed to just making something that I wanted to make. And so I was going totally crazy, like couldn't do anything. And I was in Mac Wellman's MFA program. And, uh, you know, I called him and I was like, you know, I don't think I can meet my deadline because he makes us write a play every semester. I was like, you know, I can't, I just can't do this. And I described my problem and he said, well, you know, just write the worst play you can possibly think of, you know, and, and turn that in. And so, you know, I thought about it, and the worst idea I could, like the least cool idea that I could possibly think of was a, um, a play, a, a historical play about the English romantic poets, like all sitting around and talking about art and life. Um, and, and, and I pretty much thought, you know, and I was like interning for Radio Hole like at the me. time. Sounds like they like <laughs> yeah, and, and, you know, I was interning with these like really sort of like cool, edgy companies, you know, and so just the idea of this, and actually coming, having come out of grad school and also having hated the English romantic poets so much, like, and their sensibility, it just seemed like such a nightmare. And so I just wrote the most sort of humiliating thing I could possibly conceive of. And, and people were really into it, and I ended up, it, I ended up doing the show at Soho Rep.